Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the corner. I figured I would record while I was busy doing this. <coughs> so I could show you what I've been doing. I have been making envelopes. And I have some blank white cards that will be going in them. So what it started out as was a piece of paper. <laughs> that was, let's see, how wide was this? Six and a half. <coughs> and it was by ten. So six and a half by ten. And I scored it down the center. And then I scored it in for where I want my flap. And I added some score tape. You can see it kind of maybe. There you go. See some score tape there, double sided tape. <coughs> I trent I scored it down a quarter, around a quarter of an inch, I think it is. No, half of an inch in from each side. And then I trimmed my edges, trimmed the edge here, and then I trimmed it down the sides and used my corner rounder and <coughs> made them. I have several already that I did. Here's some more. These are two smaller sizes. Not by much. Just a little bit smaller. Same height. Just a little bit off the edge more. Um, put them there. I love how they're turning out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so basically I can show you how I got these. Let me close up my glue really quick. I'm in the process of scoring all these up, folding them, getting them ready to glue, which basically what I did was scored each one in half, went through and scored each one down the sides, then scored it down on the flap. Once I get them all done then, I went through and trimmed them all. Then I went through and added score tape on all the lips, the fold part for the closure. Now I'm going to go through afterwards and I will glue all these ends down <coughs> to get those. So I've been doing it in sections. These have already, they're just waiting to be folded up. Here's some more, more of my tidbits here. Let me grab, um, uh, piece of paper here. <coughs> I have a piece of scrap paper. Well, kind of scrap paper, but all right. So basically, it's going to be 10 inches by what is it, six? Well, let me look again. Um, find a ruler here. That one's close. I can't check on that one. Check this one. <laughs> okay. uh, 10 by 6 and a half. That's what it was. 10 by 6 and a half. So, let me cut my paper. And I will show you how I'm doing them. First, we'll cut it at 10. by six and a half there we go. grab my scoreboard now So we will score at five, because half of ten is five, so I'll score it there. Then I'll come over here and I will score it at, I believe, I want to say, let's see, where's my middle? Okay, so we're going to score it at, uh, 
it's at 10. 8 and 7 eighths. So I'm going to score at 8 and 7 eighths. Then I turn it around and I will score at a quarter, or not a quarter, I mean a half. So I just go all the way down. I do it, I will have pieces that I'll be cutting off. I do it at this size because it's just in my head, it's easier that way. I could always just cut it at um, five by nine because I do cut off an inch off from the edge because <coughs> well, let me show you I'll be trimming my corners so the edge that does not have the score line for the flap you will turn your cut your edges so we'll just trim those And then you will trim this excess off. So let me get my cutting board here. I've done enough of these. <laughs> so we're gonna cut it. At a, a half. I'll flip it over. And I just line it up on the edge of my score, my uh, cutting board here. I can get it lined up. Come on. And I want to make sure which one I'm cutting. The top one. The two about there. So those, that's cut. <coughs> now this end, when you fold this, it will not fit under your flap. So that's why I trim some off and I trim it to where it's just below that flap. So let's see. Uh, find my flap here. So I'm going to go about one and an eight. Somewhere about there, one and an eight is where I will trim it. That's good. And then trim your edges again. I guess you could cut your paper the right length. <laughs> so you don't have a you know, waste, but that's just how I'm doing it. Okay, then what you do is you fold your ends in. Use your bone folder. your flat and I will trim this with a half inch round half inch not round but half inch corner rounder and then you add glue right here and fold it up and you have an envelope so that's what I've been busy doing and I could tell I didn't trim enough you could tell if you didn't trim enough is if you get a bubble when you close it so I'll just go through and trim a little bit more off just just a little bit not much maybe a sixteenth like the very little gets trimmed off so now when I close my envelope it does not pucker up so yeah and I will have uh, note cards that go inside of them They will be plain white note cards. So um, Yeah, I think they're super cute and I'm using up my paper so That's what I've been busy doing most of Today <laughs> well when you see this video, it'll be yesterday um, So yeah, that's I've just been busy doing that so I just 
fold this up. Really burnish it with my bone folder. Same with my top. Fold my sides in. And that's ready. And it's already got my score tape on there. So that's ready. And it actually feels like that one might need a little bit of a trim. So I always test it before I glue it down. I test it just to make sure I it will close properly because I don't want a wonky envelope. So now it, it goes just fine. And then I set it in my pile. So And now we're going to go on to the next step, which is gluing them sides right here. And what I've been using is my Tombow and because it's it works really good. You don't even need a lot of it. This glue is awesome. Um, you don't need a lot of it. And once I get my sides glued down, I just lightly press it. I don't put a lot because I don't want it to seep out on either sides. I don't want it to seep in. But what I do is I put my glue down, grab it here, and put it down. Lightly rub it. And I have my stamp blocks here. And I just lay that on top. And give it a good press. Then I go on to the next one. By the time this one's getting done, this one's set and I can pick it up and move it on to the next one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.